morning, BHS, and welcome back to the Indian Insider for Wednesday, March 1st, 2017. I'm Olivia. And I'm Deja. Today we'll look at sports and weather, but first here's some announcements. UTC applications are due today, no exceptions. Mon General Hospital Health and Career Scholarship applications are due March 15th. Applications are available on the junior slash senior BHS website. And now to Elijah for the sports. Last night, boys varsity basketball fell to Lincoln in the sectional semifinal, 61-41. It finishes up their 2016-2017 season. Tonight, girls varsity basketball will visit Lewis County in the finals of the AA Regionals, and tip-off will be this evening at 7 in Southwestern. I'm Elijah Smith, this is Sports Corner, and now Lexi for weather. Today expect severe rain with a high of 70, and tonight expect thunderstorms with a low of 36. Tomorrow we're going to have morning showers with a high of 42. It's currently 60 degrees, and I'm Lexi for any insider. Now back to Olivia and Deja. Thanks, Lexi. If you need an official transcript for a scholarship that is not registered with the parchment, pick up a transcript request on Counselor Bird's door. The following scholarships are due March 1st by midnight. Fairmont State's Promise and Beyond, the FAFSA, Fairmont State's Governor's Honors Academy Scholarship, Larry D. and Margaret D. Brown Scholarship. Lieutenant James and Deputy Marshal Derek Hotzenpiller Scholarship, Mark Flint Memorial Music Scholarship, and Pierpont Edge Scholarship. NASA Summer Internship Program, WV Engineering. Seniors, the Johnson's Rep will be here on Friday during lunch to hand out cap and gowns and announcements. Please make sure you are paid in full. Mr. Bonnenberger would like to congratulate Lauren Winky, Brent Sensel, and Bent Holbert for finishing third out of 16 teams last night at the trivia competition at the Brickside Restaurant. They won themselves a $10 gift card to use at Brickside. Good job, guys. And added Julia for yesterday's history taught today. On this day in 1932, in a crime that captured the attention of the entire nation, Charles Lindbergh III, the 21-year-old son of aviation hero Charles Lindbergh, is kidnapped from the family's new mansion in Hopewell, New Jersey. Lindbergh, who became an international celebrity when he flew the first solo flight across the Atlantic in 1927, and his wife, Anne, discovered a ransom note demanding $50,000 in their son's empty room. The baby's body would be found later that week, less than a mile from the house. German immigrant and carpenter Bruno Hopman would eventually be found guilty of kidnapping and murder and electrocuted in 1935. Teaching yesterday's history today, I'm Julia. Thanks, Julia. Please mark your calendars for the NHS Spring Induction and Stoles and Tassels Ceremony. It will be on Sunday, May 21st at 6 o'clock p.m. in the BHS Auditorium. Attendance is mandatory, and there will be a reception following the ceremony. John Ebert will be hosting ACT Math Prep class Wednesday, March 22nd at East Fairmont High School. To register, log on to johnebertactmathprep.com. Today for lunch, there will be chicken sandwiches, and tomorrow there, for grab and go, there will be breakfast bars. That's all the news we have for you today, BHS. Have a terrific Tuesday. It's wait, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Good. No, wait. Just wait. <laughs> Have a wonderful Wednesday. That Creole make a Texas Bama. I love baby hair with baby.